And also, it's kind of a mistake that Honey Baked Ham isn't open yet. Oh, okay. Here it is. Here's the footy from Honey Baked Ham this week. And yes, I poked my head in and no, they're nowhere near ready to go. I thought they were going to open November 11th for certain, November 12th for some reason. That's what I'd heard. Now I'm hearing it's December 12th or something. Uh, I was so hoping for a honey baked ham for Thanksgiving, but instead we'll have to wait till Christmas. Totally bummed on that one. That sucks. And if you haven't had honey baked ham yet, it's amazing. (laughs) I Uh, never have. Oh, it's wow. I'm really excited to try it. And I think one of their gimmicks is they put a little brown sugar on the outside <laughs> and the guy actually sits there Mama with like. a welding mask <laughs> and a blowtorch. Oh, that's hot. And glazes Literally. it. It like he's behind a window so you can see it. It's oh, sort of man. their display. So it's kind of like Krispy Kreme. I, exactly. <laughs> right. You can see it being honey baked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. You can or, see it getting crispied. That's how they finish it off or something. But it makes the best <laughs> split pea soup of all weird things to do with leftover ham. Okay. That actually makes a lot of sense though. Because the ham is a little sweet. sweet. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's so oh, good. I actually kind of love split, split pea soup. I think it's so good. You know, we've talked about how what you hate as a kid, you start to kind of like as an adult. Right. Uh-huh. For some people, it's mustard. For some people, it's onions. Mm-hmm. Uh, for yeah, split pea soup looks like baby poop. There's no oh, yeah. two ways about it. Looks it looks gross. It looks like a tragic diaper accident. <laughs> And with honey baked ham, it's so good. It's so it's good. It's so good. Yeah. You put a couple of bay leaves in there too to plus it. <laughs> Oof. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I lo- yeah, I love pea soup. You know, I was a mustard kid. Like I hated mustard until suddenly I didn't. And now it's like, my- I mean, you see me. I go ham on mustard. I put mustard on ham. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember walking into your grandparents' house in the summer, like if you had to stay with them for a while? Mm-hmm. Well, yours lived right next door. They did. I would visit mine in Seattle every summer. My parents got a free three-month Mikey free vacation. <laughs> and uh, they just had bullshit in their fridge. They had old people food like Perrier, mm-hmm. sardines. Melba toast, mm. that peanut butter, the Adams peanut butter without the sugar. Mm-hmm. And now, well, okay, I have three out of the five. No sardines and no Melba toast for me. I love sardines. I think they're so good. <laughs> but I love Perrier. I love sugar-free peanut butter. Yeah, my grandparents weren't like that at all. My pa- my grandparents always had the really good snacks that my oh. parents didn't have. Like my grandma always had toaster strudel. Oh my gosh! I would die for toaster Those strudel. Are good. They were my mom refused to buy them. Probably because they were kind of expensive. Your parents got pop tarts. Your grandma got toaster oh, strudel. My parents wouldn't even buy pop tarts. Your parents got little Debbie. Your grandma got Hostess. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, no. My parents would. They wouldn't never... even buy pop tarts. No. Oh. No. My brother and I would have to use our own money that we I don't know somehow got. We didn't get an allowance, <laughs> so I don't know how we ever had money. Mom's purse. But, No, we didn't steal any money either. Uh. I think we'd like, sometimes I'd ask my mom for 20 bucks to go to the mall and then I'd spend as little possible so I'd have spending money later. Smart. Yeah. Um, But well, and that's back when you could go to the mall on 20 bucks. Now you can't do anything there for 20 bucks. (laughs) No. So, you know, anytime I'd go over to my grandma's house, she'd always have like soda pop in the basement and she'd have um, toaster strudel and pop tarts and uh, oh, hot pockets. Oh, she always had hot pockets. They were so good. And you know what else she had that I love? Mm. She had that uh, dried mango from Costco. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. She and that was before we had a Costco. So she'd have a friend pick it up. I actually think it was my uncle uh, pick it up in uh, Pocatello whenever he was down there and bring her some. Wow. And I would just go in and just steal a whole <laughs> bunch of it and sneak around with it. And she got so mad because she's like, I can't just get that any old time. 